Alliance Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 1-4, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh-huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Put him through. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere and they're in control of the docks. Are you safe? No. I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidium storefront. Did Ashley make it out? We got separated. She said she had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. All right. Joker, get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander. those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in C-Sec's flying blind without the network. How bad's the situation? Do you know if the counselors are alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time.
Here we go. CSET network access. Courtesy of Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hello. What have you got? A warning from Counselor Valern. He's supposed to be here, meeting with the Executor. Be on guard. The likelihood of betrayal from within is high. Not a lot else. But if he's inside... One council is better than zero. Where am I headed? He could be in the Executor's office. It's a fairly defensible position. I'm on it. Just a sec. There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go! Dane, did you hear all that? Yes. I'm nearing the building, but running is difficult. I'll try to get to you. in the lobby. They were dug in. I can see more through the cameras. They're all over the station. This one got it in the back of the head. Inside job. Same as Mars. Cerberus sure like sleeper agents. None yet. Damn it. Keep looking. Richfield! Lamont! You alive? Hey! Am I not alerting the whole station? If gunfire doesn't put them on notice, I sure will.
We've got to be close now. Yeah, there's a stairwell further on. Executor's office is right above it. Let's hope we're not too late. They're trying to retake the central communications hub. Without it, they can't get a signal for help off the station. Bailey, looks like they got the executor and two Solarian bodyguards. Damn, all right, keep searching. If you don't see the counselor's body, don't count him out yet. Found him. He looks unharmed. Get him somewhere safe. Don't even think about it. Shepard, he's going to kill us all! That remains to be seen. I mean, Udina, he's staging a coup. He's got the other counselors now to hand over to Cerberus. Three on one, pal. It's over. No. No, it's fun. How bad is it? I have time. Catch him. Shepard, what's going on up there? Thane needs medical help fast, and I need to take care of an assassin. He must be going after the rest of the Council. Get the word out. Odina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the Councilors. They're being taken to a shuttle pad on the Presidium. Start driving. I'll try to raise them on the comm. Good work, Bailey. We're almost there.
I'm on foot now. Any luck contacting the council? Negative. Their guards are dead. But we've still got vital signs on the council's transponders. Where are they going? The shuttle pad above Shalmar Plaza. Houdin is with them. If he can get them in range of that assassin, this is all over. On my way. They don't like to hold still, do they? Sealed it behind them. I'm at Shalmar Plaza. Where's the council? In an elevator. They're trying to get to the shuttle dock. Someone's following them. Someone with a sword. Great.
Okay, I'm in the shaft. Hang on. This will be a fast climb. Tell me that assassin hasn't reached the council. He's trying, but I'm making his elevator stop on every floor. Nice. I found our friend. Kill his elevator. There's a power conflict beneath it. Going down. Incoming phantoms. Guess that was their stop. Is there any other kind? That hitman jumped to another elevator and he's overridden my controls. He's on his way up, I can't stop him. I'll handle it. Here they come! What was that? Gunman, get down! Go! Damn it! Cerberus hit the shuttle! Everybody back to the elevator! Shepard's blocking our escape. He's with Cerberus. Everybody, hang on. Shepard, what's happening here? You know me better than this, Ash. I knew the old Shepard before Cerberus. Right now, I'm not sure who I'm dealing with. We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Odina's behind this attack. The Salarian Counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. We've mistrusted Shepard before, and it did not help us. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. I'm gonna regret this. No. You're not. All right, Skipper. Udina, step back from the console. To hell with this! Gun! Get the council back and cover that door. The door! Bailey? Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Something's not right. You said Cerberus was targeting us. Where did their soldiers go? Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor. I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. And you have saved my life twice now, Shepard. I owe you both a personal debt, and one on behalf of Palavan. You don't owe me anything, Counselor. In times like this, we all stand together. Commander, do you have any idea why the elusive man would do this? No, I don't. But I plan to find out. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. Yes? Things didn't go as planned. 
The Council's still in control of the Citadel and Udina's dead. Udina was expendable. Now what? There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Ling. It won't happen again. Hmm. We'll see. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son, Koliath. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus, if you want to see him. Uh, I'd go now. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian Counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him? shower with hot water and everything. And that's when Neyra came. Neyra was another huntress on your ship? Yeah, a friend. I, I wanted it to be more than that, but she had a, a medical condition. It's okay. It's in the file. The farm girl calls in to me that another Asari is here. I thought the shuttle had gotten back early. I come out in a towel and... and Neyra walks through the door. But it wasn't her. Not anymore. I'm looking for a drell named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drell, but not under that name. He was injured, stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right, it's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Hmm. Krios is in the final stages of Keprel's syndrome. At its worst, Keprel's syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now, they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. 
I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Bane. That assassin should be embarrassed. A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. There is something I must do before it gets worse. I must... <coughs> Galahira, mistress of inscrutable depths, I ask forgiveness. Galahira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. Galahira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Goliad, <coughs> you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Kalihira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalihira, and he will be a companion to you as he was to me. something I don't understand. His last moments were those of a hero. Why pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Thane. You won't be alone long. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. We swore an oath to help the sick regardless of their economic situations or their places in society. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our We're fighting right now to protect the people you're talking about. If you let these people die, that fight is for nothing. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Then we'll find a way. Look, we have more fortunate patients, right? Yes, and I hate to say it, but the fortunate ones have far better survival odds. And more credits. So we ask them for donations, to get more supplies, for those without credits. What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? That's... You know, that, that actually might work. I can't believe how hard the doctors are working to keep that terrorist bastard alive. He's in intensive care? He got blasted by Cerberus. They think he's just another victim. You want my security vids? Bring me a warrant. You stonewalling me? Those vids could be vital for the war. I doubt the Reapers have agents doing business in my cafe. We're trying to protect you. Help the jobs do. See those scorch marks? Cerberus killed one of my servers right there. Where were you? Hey, I lost friends too. If you care about finding the Cerberus informants who made it happen, you'll give me the vids. We're at war. If you care about the safety of the Citadel, you'll help CSAC however you can. 
Thank you, Commander. I have some high-profile customers. If word gets out that I'm ratting them out to CSEC, you think I care about insider trading or electronic smuggling right now? I'm after the bastards who attacked the Citadel. Nobody else. You've got my word. All right. Just... I hope it helps. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian war effort. Oh, that's a lovely idea. I really appreciate management doing it. My husband's away on duty right now. Oh, you're bonded with Turian? No, actually, my husband's a Krogan. Oh, well, that's great. I just hope he knows which ones to fight. Excuse me? Oh, I didn't... Uh, well, I, I just... My husband is risking his life to protect us right now. I'm so sorry. That was thoughtless and... Uh, I'm so sorry. No, no, I understand. Sometimes I'm surprised myself. Anyway, would you like to make a purchase? Yes, yes, of course. Excuse me. I'm sorry. You need to hear this. Oh, Blue Rose of Ilium. If these humble words reach you, then I have joined my ancestors. No. No, no, no. My dream was to be by your side. A weed beside your beauty, twining together in the warm Tachanka sun. Oh, Char. But if my last days must be with Krant instead of kindness, still I will remember the perfume of your scent and the soft touch of your petals. <laughs> Let my broken bones build a wall around your garden. So you and the flower we planted together can grow safe and strong. Thank you. Uh, I should... I need to go. People have a right to defend themselves. If you start selling weapons to everyone on the Citadel, C-Sec will shut this whole place down. C-Sec couldn't protect us when Cerberus attacked. I'll take him to court. You think a court is going to want more people running with guns right now? Then I'll go to the wards and sell from the back room at Purgatory. People are already scared. If you violate weapons laws, they'll just be scared and trigger happy. Would a bunch of civilians shooting at anything that moves make the Citadel safer? The commander's right. Maybe if the council organizes a civilian militia with training. Otherwise, they'll just panic and get themselves killed. I just... I just want people to be safe. I know. But second-guessing CSEC isn't the way. What if we submit a proposal to start a militia? Okay. That'd be something. You're back, huh? Any luck out there? Here. I've got some pieces for you. Done deal, commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems. Power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. It looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes, from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. I just don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the asshole's in custody now. Killing him won't bring anyone back. It's about justice. The man is a traitor and a murderer. You saw what he did to your wife. To my husband. And didn't bat an eyelash. He's evil, there's no doubt. What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Draw them away, and I'll move in and make the kill.
enforcing the law. Same as always. Without that, everything goes to hell. Look at Paladin, my friend. We're in hell. We should be looking for terrorists. The rest can take care of itself. So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory place? How does cracking down on that crap help us win the war? People need to blow off steam right now. And how does letting the misdemeanors go help the war? Less time spent on the light stuff means the Citadel has more money for defense. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. You have to show them that CSEC is still in control. They need... The commander's right. We need people coming into work every day. We need things to keep running. Otherwise, today's bar fight could be tomorrow's street riot. Yeah, maybe you're right. This feels so damn petty right now. Commander Shepard. Guess I know what happened to my backup. Excuse me? Come on. I'm in C-Sec in civilian gear with a weapon. I know what I'm made. Just let me explain. Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There's a prisoner here. C-Sec officer who helped Cerberus. C-Sec caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup, good people. And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. If you gun that man down, you're dishonoring the uniform just as much as he did. Like hell I am. I don't like plea bargains any more than you do, but the intel we get will save lives. Says who? Our superiors. The people we swore to serve and trust. Captain Summers. Yes, Commander. Sorry, Commander. I'll shut it down. Thanks. <laughs> Bomb or turret? How many this time? Clear the area until you've done a full sweep. We need a way to find their tech and shut it off safely. No, the crime still doesn't have anything. The tech they got off the bodies of a few Cerberus engineers self-destructed when they took it apart. Not much we can do, except for put some pieces after another turret guns down on Mom and her kids. Commander Shepard, I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high-end weapons to CSEC. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavan back, but it's something. Thank you, Commander. <laughs> Shot. Gorex wanted for six bombings. Six. Killed both humans and Batarians. He bombed his own people? Why? He was part of a terror cell. Picked crowded places. Voya, Omega. Doesn't matter to these asshole fanatics who gets blown up. Look who's here. 
The Blue Sun's blood pack and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? What exactly have I acquired? An army that's willing to fight dirty, to do the things your respectable militaries won't do. Eclipse Max and Vorcha Legions are excellent candidates for vanguards in any ground offensive. Well worth the little song and dance I had you perform, I'm sure. Whatever you say, Arya. Don't be a stranger. Ugh. This sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across Alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. Curious, what material is your face made from? The surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self-healing. And what about the hair? It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. Now how is this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? That's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. You and AD have something special. Something important. You're worried I might mess up the pilot-ship relationship. I'm worried that Edie trusts you as a friend. 
that maybe this isn't the time to push. Yeah, maybe you're right. Thanks, Shepard. Something on your mind? I mean, processing something? Shall each man find a wife for his bosom, and each beast have his mate, and I be alone? It is from an old Earth novel by Mary Shelley. Please do not take it as a complaint. All right. It did bring up a new perspective, however. I am a thing that is not human. Geth or Reaper. Other AIs are experiments only. Tightly controlled. I am free, but alone. You're not an object, Edie. You're a person. You're not alone. You were suggesting I consider organics as my peer group? I could do that, but it brings up a question. Artificial intelligences often consider themselves above organic life. I, however, am uncertain if that applies to me. The crew of the Normandy believe I serve them, but also acknowledge that I keep them alive. Am I above them or below? You're important to us, Edie. You don't have to measure yourself against organics. That is kind of you to say. It also seems reasonably accurate. If I am not subject to the same expectations, I need not worry about rank. Thank you, Shepard. That helps resolve the conflict I was having. Commander Shepard, maybe I can help. The banner of the 1st Regiment is waiting for you at Bay D-24. The banner of... Commander Shepard, I owe you a drink. Thank you. We'll hold that banner proudly as we take our homeworld back from you. Now arriving at Docking Bay E-24. The Emergency Council needs to understand habit. what these refugees have been through. Can't you let me in? No. I only need a couple of hours of footage. You're not crossing that dock. Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? Solek Vaz, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive, but you could catch a few quick shots for me. There are lots of refugees on the rest of the Citadel. It won't have the same impact as seeing crowds trapped on the docks. We all need to help each other. I want this documentary to shock people into action. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni-Tool in the refugee camp. I'll be here when you're done. They also fell to the Reapers when Elysium was attacked. While the Alliance takes heavy losses, Turian troops have been bolstered by Kurgan's support on that I'm sorry, but that's not quite what I had in mind. Stand and support the Turians' warriors. 
I recovered your pillars of strength from the kite's nest. They're yours, waiting in bay D-24. Thank you. Right now, my people need any reminder of the faith they can get. Pressure's okay. No infection so far. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. I peg his survival at 50-50. Are you Gorek? <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist is doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <laughs> with someone on Eretok remembers your face. The planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher the colony. Only regret... Don't have the strength to... I destroyed Eretot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died. About how I couldn't warn them in time. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry. If that means anything. <laughs> if you're so remorseful... <clears throat> do you have any real guilt? Show some mercy. <laughs> Unplug this machine. Let me join my family. Oh. I need support. Someone sabotaged the Metagel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. No, I've contacted CSEC. They said it's not a priority and it doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Turian soldiers dying for lack of medication. Hey, Commander. James, enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah. Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are a line's property. Have a little faith, loco. I have a little. Mm-hmm. I believe those are my credits. Great shot, Commander. You thought I was bluffing. We just need more food. I can give you the location of some ruins. On Gay Hidden, the Hades Nexus. Nice. If you could get past the Reaper patrols, I'm sure you'd find something valuable. That's got to be worth something. Please, my family is starving. Nice. I fixed the sabotage. The Metagel dispensers should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for... Hey, that's him. That's my Cerberus contact. Hey, hey, you! You're under arrest.
Shepard. Shepard, did I help? Yeah, Conrad. You helped. I don't even feel anything. Actually, I sabotaged his gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was just the thermal clip overheating. Hi, Commander. It's me, Jenna. You helped me a few years ago when I was working undercover at Cora's Den. And now you're volunteering here. Right. Chalik showed me a few little tricks when he had me working undercover. Guess that paid off, huh? You... you saved my life. I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life for Commander Shepard. You're so brave. Oh, the Commander and I go way back. Let me give you a hand, and I can tell you about it. footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Listen, I thought of something. No, it can't wait until I'm back on duty. The Hesperia period. Their statues had legendarily accurate Prothean inscriptions. Can we use that? Yes, I know the Athena Nebula is off limits, but this... a classified project. It needs all the Prothean intel we can find. I haven't found any reliable pictures, but just think. If those statues had something that could help us, even today. I know the Hades Nexus is off limits. You're not an idiot. Damn it, the Alliance needs that thing right now. The obelisk of Karza was supposed to contain Prothean language translations, like the Rosetta Stone for Protheans. Think of how much it could have helped us understand. get here yet? Nope. It's okay. I mean, they'll get here. They always keep their promises. They... Next shuttle was probably just late or something. That's all. I'm sure you're right. I look forward to meeting you. This is a problem, boss. Cerberus has changed their ciphers, and our codebreakers aren't getting anywhere. I've got our best teams working in shifts on it. But ensuring Citadel systems' integrity is just going to take time. If we can get some of their field encryption tools, maybe sample ciphers... I understand. Keep trying. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? I understand Palavin is very busy, but this is one of your own generals. He was stabbed with a poison blade by a Cerberus soldier during the attack on the Citadel. We can't identify the toxin. We're barely keeping him alive right now. It's some form of neurotoxin. If you could look at our charts... Of course, I understand. Even a general is just one man. Good luck. Knowles, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. All human. 
Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes, and someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like... okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. About time. I know, I know. You don't have to say anything. But I'm about to make my comeback. About time. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. What's that, Commander? I'm losing your signal. Shepard. Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony. And I can't save my people. But I can end you. Balak, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people. But what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahawk system. What? They would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I'm uniting the Krogan and the Turians. We're the best hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people... Ah! Our ships are yours. Shepard, are you alright? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. But we're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre Authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Son of a bitch. Without an Ezo core private to love. I had a friend in security at Sonax, and there was definitely Prothean tech on Garbug. I know the Valhalla threshold is Reaper territory now, but Prothean tech could help the crucible. There a problem? I thought we were fighting. Yes. Shepard, I don't know what to say. I'm trying to go over everything in my head, make sense of it. Your bandages were still fresh. How did you end up working with Adina? You saw me in the hospital. I was going crazy. Felt like I was letting everyone down. When Udina offered to make me a specter, I thought it was a chance to do some good. I couldn't just sit back and watch either. Yeah, but it sure turned into a mess. I never wanted to put you in that situation. We're on the same side. I can't believe it came to that. We were so close to... Ash, it's okay. We figured it out. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know. But we don't have a choice. I wanted to talk to you about that. Hackett asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but I'd prefer to ride this thing out aboard the Normandy. Permission granted. Couldn't do this without you. I'll grab my gear. And Ash? Yeah? It's good to have you back. Yes, sir. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power-hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he should have begun on Omega even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. 
Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson, it's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean-specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy, and in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the Catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but... I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Goddamn Cerberus bastards. And Udina too. Son of a bitch. That's crap. Udina made a deal with the devil. He got what he deserved. Commander, I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? Commander, i found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? Yes. I was visiting my family during a university holiday. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. <laughs> 